Today, I am going to be breaking down the technique of how to fill the carousel for the mobile version. There were some questions and I just want to do some clarification. So for this, I am not going to do anything on the background. I'm not going to do anything. We're just going to do straight up process. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is get my square frame. I'm going to make it the size that I want for my center. You can make it any, you can make it big, small. It doesn't matter if you want it very big, very small. I'm going to center it up. That's my first frame. I am going to duplicate that. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to center that up and I'm going to bring it down maybe about halfway through. I'm going to duplicate that second one. And I'm going to do the same thing and put that up here about halfway through. Now I'm going to duplicate the smaller square. What I'm going to do is make that smaller. Center that up in between these two. And duplicate that and do the same at the bottom. Now I have my carousel in place. What I want to do now is take the two smallest ones. Take the transparency down to 50%. I'm typing that at 50 and enter. You can also use the slider. Take the transparency and slide it down to 50. What I'm going to do now is go into my position. I can go into layers and I can pull that back. Or I can go here, click, right click, go to layer and send it to back. So my two transparents and my smaller ones are in the back behind the three major ones in the front. Now that I have my carousel set up, what I want to do is work on my text. So I'm going to grab a text box. Let's go add a heading. Pick out your font. Um, I'm just going to do a bold one for this because we're just doing technique. And then what I want to do now is double click and do all my text boxes. So I'm going to do one. And as you can see how tight it is, I need space to be able to pull it on and off the page. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to do two spaces or maybe not. Hello. Reverse. You can do two spaces or you can pull it out like that. That way it gives you the space where you can keep this on the page. See this purple needs to stay on the page. You can't pull it off or it'll go, it'll disappear. So what we want to do now is we got one like this. We want to grab it. We're just going to duplicate it. We're going to do T. W O for two and I got space on both sides. So that one's good. I'm going to duplicate that. Make my third one. G H R E E. I got space on both sides. So that one's good. Duplicate. I want to make F U R for four. I got space on both sides. So that one's good. So I'm going to click and get it and duplicate. And I am going to put five. Oops. Five. You couldn't see that, but I put a B instead of a V. So now what I want to do is find the placement where I want them to come in. I kind of want them to come in between these two. You can also have them come in on the bottom of your, wherever you want to. If you want to come in the center, wherever you want to. But what you're going to do now is you're going to pull them off and make sure each one has that little purple piece hanging off the side. You don't want to lose your purple piece. If you lose your pur purple piece, let's go. See, like if I go into position. So I'm going to take number two. Watch two over here when I pull it off. Pull it off. All the way off like so. It goes away. It's done. But if you do that by accident, just hit your back button and it'll show back up. So we can go over here. We're going to pull it off and make sure that this little piece of the purple box is still on there. So now we got all of our text. So now we have our carousel set up and ready to animate and not animate quite yet. We need to put pictures in there. But what we want to do first is we're going to go down here now. We have everything set up. We'll go and duplicate the page. So you can duplicate it this way or you can go control D, control D. So you want five of these. One, two, three, four, five because you have five photos. So now we're going to go back to our first photo, our first page. Now we're going to grab what we want to put in there. So what I want to do 
is I want to do my number one. So number one goes here and it's going to go down and go back up the back side and come back down. So I'm going to put this now in the below. I'm going to go here now to the third one and it goes behind because now it's going back up. I'm going to the fourth one and it's going here. And I'm going to go to the fifth one and it's going to go here. So as you can see, it's going around. Now we're going to grab number two and go into the next spot. So number two is going to go here. Number two is going to go here. Number two is going to go here. Number two is going to go up here. And then number two will make it to the center. Then we're going to go back to our first page. We got one, two. Now we got to start off on this third spot here. So the third is going to go in between here. Three. Now three is on the back side and going up right at the moment. And then we'll go to the next one. Three is going to go up to the top. Three is going to come down to the center. And then three is going to come down to the bottom. We're going to go back to our first page and we're going to put four in. Four is going to go here. Four is going to go up here. The fourth picture is going to go here. It's going to go to the bottom one. When we go to the last page, it's going to go to the one right behind it. So now you got the fifth one. That's the easiest one because what you only have one frame left, right? So all you're going to do is fill in that last frame. You're going to go to each one and fill in your last frame. So the only one that doesn't have a friend with it, it needs to have a friend. So you just put that one in the last one. And then all that says. So now we want to work. We want to go back to our first one and we want to work on our text. So what I want to do now, let's pull our positions up because it'll make it easier. I want to grab number one and I want to start number one off in the center. Like so. I'm going to go to page two and what I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to grab my one and I am going to move it all the way across to the other side. Make sure that purple stays on. Don't, don't lose that pur purple. And then I'm going to grab a number two and we're going to put that there. And then we're going to go to our next one. I am going to take text number one and delete that. See, because if I leave text, put text number one over here, it's going to go, since it's over here right now on the previous page, if you leave it, it's going to come and go across here and come back out. So what you want to do is you want to get rid of text number one because we're done with it. It's gone. You don't need it anymore. So we go in there and we're going to delete one. We're going to grab number two because we just finished with that. Text number two is going to go across like so. And we're going to go grab number three and put that in the center. Then we're going to go to page number three. We're going to get rid of one and two. But you can use your control key to highlight both of them. And then you can delete both of those. You're going to grab number three. Bring that all the way across. Like so. Make sure your purple's on there. Grab four. Bring it to center. Then what we're going to do is we don't need three anymore. So I'm going to go click one, control, click, control, click, one, two, three. And I am going to uh, delete those. I'm going to grab number four, shuffle it across like so. And then I'm going to get five and I am going to center it up. So that's the five texts going across. Now that we have all that done, what we want to do is get our animation in there. So I'm going to go click my transition, go into match and move, turn it up all the way across, turn it up all the way across, apply to all the pages. And then what you want to do is you want to go up into your timing. Let's try two seconds. So if I want two seconds, I'm 
probably have to put 2.2 because Canva's kind of weird about that. So I put 2.5. Let's go back to 2. Let's just put 2 in there and see if we can get 2.1. 2.1. Right, I got a 1. 2.2 in there. All right, so let's see our animation. So we go 1, 2. And that's how you do your animation. And I hope that clarified it up for the ones that are kind of confused. That's why I kind of wanted to use like numbers and stuff like that to see. If you're still confused, please visit me on my Facebook page if you can and send me a DM. And it's like, I just don't know what's going on. Um, I'm having trouble. And then we can actually, you can like share a template link of what you got going on. And then I can really talk you through it. So, but hopefully this helped the ones that were having a little bit of an issue of, I think placement kind of gets kind of funny sometimes. So hopefully this helped out a little bit for that. That's all for this one. I love you guys. See you on the next one. Bye y'all.